is so much stuff okay hey what's up you guys it's michelle so for today's video i thought it'd be super fun to do a video on a bunch of new fast food items that have just come out i'm not actually sure how new some of this stuff is but i haven't tried any of this before so i'm going to be trying it with you guys i have stuff from kfc taco bell arby's jack in the box so there's a lot of fun stuff here i am going to be talking about that topic that you guys want me to talk about later on chill it's kind of irrelevant to talk about at this point because it happened so long ago but i'm still going to talk about it um if you don't know what i'm talking about again just hold on a couple minutes and i will get there i think i'm gonna open everything set it all up i think it'd be funny to show you guys like the promo ad images for this food and then show you guys what the food actually looks like because I know a lot of fast food places don't really care and they kind of just slop stuff together and throw it in the bag. So I'm interested to see which of these places actually looks the most like the ad. So this is the Taco Bell Nachos, Ooh, Nachos Bel Grande, Nacho Fries. They just came out with these a few weeks ago and I've only heard really good things about this. So I'm excited to try these. The tomatoes look so sickly. <laughs> They don't look that bad, actually. I mean, nachos are kind of supposed to have everything thrown everywhere, so I guess it, I mean, I think it looks the way it's supposed to look. So I have those, some fire sauce, very necessary. I thought they gave me regular nachos for a second, and I was really sad. I'm really excited about this one. I'm trying the KFC um, Smoky Barbecue Chicken that they just came out with. So I got the three tender meal, it comes with a biscuit, and then it came with a side of, I was going to say mac and cheese, uh, mashed potatoes. The pickles are a little all over the place, but I think it looks pretty good. There's not that much sauce on them, I feel like, compared to the ad, but we'll try that. And then I got Jack in the Box. I need to start actually setting this stuff up. Should I even have this coffee in the frame? Am I actually going to drink this? Not not a good mix. Let's put that to the side. From Jack in the Box, I got their new Asian chicken sandwich. This is from their food truck menu. Like they have a bunch of really cool sandwiches. Ooh, this one's a little bit. This one's a little bit messy, I can tell. So it's fried chicken. It has, I think, coleslaw, pickled cucumber, and then it has a how do you say this word? Mommy Tang, where you at? It's gochu gochujing gochujang mayo what's that word you guys know what i'm talking about but i thought it was really cool that they kind of are incorporating legit korean ingredients i feel like i've never seen a fast food place use that before from arby's these look really uh sad actually from arby's i got desserts <laughs> um yeah <laughs> they're kind of just like that so we'll see i don't really like the cinnabon ones from taco bell but maybe these ones will be better interesting we'll try those later but yeah so that is everything let me get my thumbnail thumbnail posing so awkward so yay i've already been drinking this clearly <laughs> this is really really good i love this slushy i've had it once before um, I just wanted to feature it because I do think it's their newest flavor, but it's kind of like, it's not super vanilla-y, it's supposed to be kind of creamsicle flavored, but it's definitely more, I think, just kind of orange. Really refreshing, not too sweet. Mm. These have cheese, ground beef, beef, um, tomatoes, and sour cream. So let's go into this. Oh! Those are really freaking good. Oh my god. Those fries are so much more of a different flavor than I thought they would be. They almost taste like Doritos or something. Or maybe that's the beef flavor. I don't usually order their beef because it scares me a little bit. But the flavor is definitely really good. Okay. I was trying another thumbnail. I'm gonna throw some fire sauce on top. My favorite sauce with fire sauce. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I love their hot sauce. I think because all of their food is so kind of salty and fatty. The hot sauce definitely. Mmm. 
perfect compliment. Let me try this chicken. I already know their mashed potatoes are bomb. My camera literally just shut off as soon as I put that bite in my mouth. This is why people get mad that I cut my videos so much because stupid stuff like this happens. Their gravy is so good. I feel like I could put it in a cup and just drink it by itself. Mm. Now this chicken, it doesn't really have that much sauce in it. Can you see how it's like bright orange? I don't know if that's grease or sauce. I think it's grease. Let's try this other one. Mmm. Mmm, really crispy. Hmm. It doesn't have that much flavor. It's like kind of sweet. Hmm. Do I like it? <laughs> It's good, but I feel like I should be dipping it in something. There's really not that much sauce on this. It's pretty much just sweet. Like, it tastes like it has like a normal little barbecue sauce in it. There's a hair. Is that mine? It was white. This one has more sauce or maybe grease. So let's try this one. Wait, is this my hair? Another one, or is that the same one? They're like white little hairs. Whatever. Yeah, it's just okay. It's not really special to me. Let me try and dip it. It's not too dry. I just think it needs like maybe extra barbecue sauce on the side. Or ranch or something. Mmm. This is just like crispy batter. Mmm. I know a lot of people kind of hate on KFC. And say that Popeyes is so much better. But this is pretty good. Ooh. What do you guys prefer? Mmm. I like it with the pickle. Mmm. I would like food in my mouth. I would for sure order, order that again. <laughs> oh no, this biscuit. Woo! It feels like I'm eating like a sock. It's so dry. <laughs> Oh my god, no, 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 no. Okay, much better than that. Ooh. Like, I, I'm, I like this chicken. I like it. It's good. I recommend it. Mmm. Who else loves pickles? I feel like you either love them or hate them. Mmm. Okay. Two thumbs up so far. I recommend both of these. Whoa. Mmm. Oh my god. I just for sure got grease all over my camera. Whoops, I hope I didn't get any on the lens. I remember a couple months ago I actually dropped my camera in a slice of pizza. Like I had this really thick pizza that had like pools of sauce on top and I legit got sauce all over the camera, like in the microphone. And I feel like my, my mic on my camera has been kind of distorted since then. <laughs> so if you guys notice any weird buzzing or something in the background, it's probably just pizza sauce like all up in my camera. It was worth it though, that was a really good pizza. Um, anyway. Back to this, it looks kind of ugly compared to the promo, but it has everything in there. You can definitely distinctly see all the ingredients, so that's good. Ooh, this bread that they use is really dry. Hmm. 
Mm. Okay, why does this taste like sushi? Oh my god, that's really dry. <laughs> the lighting just also got really bright. I don't think there's enough sauce. Let me try a bite from the other side because it looks like maybe there's more sauce. Hmm. I don't like this one. <laughs> This is why I cut my videos. I have a minute of boring chewing here with this dry ass bread. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't really like anything about this. This is Korean inspired and there's nothing spicy in this. I like the fresh cucumbers, but this is a no. They have one that was pork belly that I was almost gonna get. It's supposed to be like crispy pork belly in the sandwich, but I was afraid that it would be all like soggy and gross. This one is really not good though, so maybe the other one would have been a better option. Um, yeah, whack. Anyways, I'm just gonna quickly address this because it's just, it's so ridiculous. Like, I'm not sure, I feel like I have so much food in my teeth. I'm not sure if people actually think that this is a legitimate thing that I am possibly doing. But basically, if you guys didn't know, like over a month ago, this I'm so late on addressing this. Um, Shane and Trisha, who I love by the way, uh, they were doing a mukbang and Shane kind of hinted that he thinks that this is definitely my hair. He was kind of saying that he thinks that, or he notices that I have a lot of cuts in my videos and he thinks that I may potentially be like spitting my food out, I guess, like not actually swallowing it. Um, he's done videos, like tasting videos before, where he has had like a spit bucket and he will spit out the food. I don't know, I don't feel like it was really that serious. I thought it was just like fun gossip or whatever. But oh my god, so many of his viewers have come to my channel and are attacking me and my viewers are attacking them. Like my comment section lately has been such a freaking mess. Um, but yeah, basically, some people are saying that they think that I don't actually eat food. Which is kind of funny because in my last video I had so many comments from people telling me that it looks like I've gotten fatter and that <laughs> I have a bunch of other people saying that they don't think that I'm eating food because they think I'm trying to stay skinny or something. Wait, is this part of my dress? Oh my god, has that been hanging out the whole time? These drive me crazy! Um. Anyway, I've talked about before why I cut my videos so much. Reason one, um, I eat really slow. I don't like having a minute of just dead footage of me staring into the camera chewing. Like usually if I'm eating some noodles or something, that would be like tripled in time. So I like cutting it because it's really boring for me to watch. It's just... It's so slow, and maybe I have a really short attention span, but I also, I like watching people that have kind of quicker videos. I don't like watching people that don't edit and are really slow eaters, because then there's just so much like dead, boring footage, in my opinion. I know some people are not content or feel satisfied with mukbangs if they don't see the full act of swallowing, but that's not why I watch mukbangs, and it doesn't even occur to me that that is something <laughs> that people need to see. I watch people's mukbangs because I wanna see the food. I wanna see, I wanna hear their opinions on it. The actual like sounds and I guess the like swallowing is, is not that important to me, which is why it doesn't like occur to me to leave that in my videos. To me, I'm just like looking at boring footage. So naturally I cut it out. Um, I was thinking of doing some no talking videos in the future where I just film straight and don't edit anything and don't talk for the people that really 
need to see that sort of thing. So if you guys want to see that, I can try doing those videos as well. This chicken is really good. But yeah, especially I think when I'm telling a story, I hate when there's like huge gaps of me just chewing. It completely, I feel like, distracts from what I'm saying and distracts from the story. <laughs> Maybe I just need to eat faster. I don't know, you guys. I'm probably gonna still cut my videos. And like, I honestly can't believe that there are people that think that I literally have like a spit bucket here. Like the idea of that is so disgusting to me. <laughs> could you imagine having to clean that out after filming a video? Like that's literally the most disgusting thing I could possibly think of. Also, I've filmed videos, multiple videos at like my friends' places before. So do you really think I'm bringing around a spit bucket with me? <laughs> to my friends' places to spit out food while they're there. How disgusting would that be? Like, that idea to me is so ridiculous that there are people that actually think that that's a thing that is happening. I was about to say something and I, I forgot what I was about to say. Another obvious thing is like, I never, ever come close to finishing any of my food. If I was spitting out my stuff, don't you think I would like finish everything or like pretend to finish everything? There are so many videos that I eat like three bites and then quit because I've gotten so full. Like obviously I'm eating. I feel so stupid even defending myself because like I can't believe there are people that actually think this but maybe there are. I don't know. Um, yeah, I never finish my food. I really like this chicken. I just said that, but like, I really like this chicken. You guys should go try it. It's really good with the pickles. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry if cutting bothers you guys. A lot of people said that they didn't even notice it before and now they notice it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, this is how I've always done my videos. I prefer them this way. I like them fast. I would never want to upload 40 minute, 40 minute. I would never want to upload. That's also why I have cuts because I stumble on my words every two sentences. I would never want to upload like 45 minute long videos. I'm not into watching ones that long. So I'm not gonna leave mine that long. And that's all I really have to say about that. <laughs> anyway, oh, I just got fire sauce up my nose. <laughs> anyway, hopefully that answered, aw, marry me. Hopefully that answered what you guys wanted to know, I guess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on, I think, to these Oreo things. Mm -hmm. These are good. My spit bucket. <laughs> mm. I think my first bite, I didn't really know what to think, but I do like it. Very subtly sweet. Mm. And really crispy. Ripping it apart like an animal, as usual with the pickle. Mm, really good. Let's try this. Okay, these RB things with my greasy fingerprints all over it. These look awful, but maybe it's really good. Oh. 
Oh, okay, not that bad. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. There we go. Um. Eh. It's really kind of just like dry, like chalky dough. Like it's not super flavorful. And then the filling is just kind of like regular sugar filling. The texture is pretty good. They're probably a lot better when they're still warm. I wouldn't go out of my way to order these, but they're not bad. I do like them more than the um, Taco Bell Cinnabon. Cinnabon. Cinnamon. 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 But Cinnabon bites. I can't say that word. I think that's it, you guys. I wanted to talk about a couple other things, but I think I'm just gonna save it for the next video. Let me know if you guys liked this trying new fast food stuff video. Let me know if any of you guys would be interested in like a no talking video. I've never done one of those, so I'd be open to it. To kind of change things up a little bit. That's gonna be it. Thank you guys for watching if you've made it this far, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!